Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the Self Love Makeover Artist and today's episode is all about my nine month success story update. So these are my major highlights, so I hope that you enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna get started with the personal ones first and then move on to more business. Now, okay. Are you ready for this? So when um, my fiance and I were on our date day, we were literally like pulling over to the side of the road and typing into Google Maps where we, where we needed to go. And as Peter was typing it into Google, I literally looked out the window and saw this beautiful crystal sign. I was like, we're in the middle of nowhere. Like there's a crystal person here. This is awesome. So we got out of the car. I walked in and I saw all of these crystals in like this front room. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool, but I don't know if this is a shop. Like, I don't know if I'm meant to be in here because there was no one at the front desk. Anyways, there were these curtains and I somehow I went through the curtains and I saw this lady painting. I was like, oh, hi. Absolutely scared the bejeebus out of her. She was like totally in the zone, um, creating this beautiful piece. And yeah, she said it was her shop. We're welcome to go in. And then as I was about to leave, my angels told me to ask if um, she um, holds meditations. And she's like, yeah, of course I do. And she showed us um, a crystal grid that she had um, set up from her last full moon meditation. I was like, oh my God, I don't know very much about crystal grids, but I heard they're amazing. Teach me your ways. Anyway, so we kind of got chatting. And then as we're about to leave again, somehow Peter said, um, he's like, oh, do you, are you a marriage celebrant? No idea where the flip that came from. Um, and she's like, actually, I've been thinking about becoming a marriage celebrant for like the past six months. And I was like, oh, like, how come you haven't done it? She's like, fear. I was like, oh my God, you're totally my person. You can understand what the contrast is and that you need to surrender so you can set yourself free. Anyway, so yeah, we... It's funny because it's like the universe brings you what you need and we're like, we want someone to marry us who is spiritual because we want white sage, we want crystals, we want meditation as part of our ceremony. We don't want it to be traditional at all because that is not who we are. And we've said that we wanted like a crystal healer kind of vibe person to marry us. And then this came about and I was like, okay. It's like, I'm not rushing any of the wedding plans. It will unfold at the perfect time. I don't want to be like, I got to plan a wedding in one year, blah, blah, blah. It's like, nah, I don't want to do that. I am, I basically have said to my angels, I surrender to the process and I set myself free. You show me the way. How are we meant to get married? Because, you know, I don't want it to be a, str a stressful situation. I know so many people get into that and that is totally not the path of least resistance in how I am living my life now, which is pretty cool. So let me go on. Oh, the next one. This is pretty cool. Um, I've had my car. I don't know if it's, with, I'm still confused because it's like, if you own things before you come into a relationship, are they still technically yours or they now yours together with your partner? I'm not too sure how to refer to it still. Anyways, so I bought a car like three or four years ago and we've been using that for our car now. It got to the step, or actually I knew when I bought the car, it had 50,000 kilometers and I said to myself, or maybe this is my angels before I realized that I could communicate with them, um, that when it, the car gets to 100,000 kilometers, I need to sell it. And I always had that feeling. It was like, oh, this is just a temporary car. It's gonna come into my life. It's gonna be, you know, perfect. And then when the time is right, I release it. So the car's got 106,000 Ks. We we um, put it up for sale at 100,000 because that was just what my angels told me. And we kind of left it, kind of had resistance initially when we put it up. I was like, I love this car, what are we doing? Ah, and anyway, so we left it. And then this week I had one person, well, Peter organized it, um, had one person message him three times and said, we love you car, you know, we've got cash, we're ready to do the deal, let me see it and get the road worthy and then we'll go for it. It was like the most simplest process ever. They called us, Peter showed them the car, they loved it, they're like, okay, cool, you need to get the road worthy before we sell it. We got the road worthy, like that. Um, and on Monday, which is two days from the day that I'm filming this, so I'm filming this what, on the 2nd of December, um, so on, actually no, the 5th, we're going to have the changeover of cars. 
um, well not cars, a car. I'm selling my car and so I'm gonna have cash. And now it's kind of like, oh, universe, we don't have a car. How is Peter going to get to work? And I'm trying to surrender to the process, but like all the emotions are coming up going, okay, you know, it's just like, I know how to manifest things, but saying it and doing it are two different things. And I, it's so interesting when I catch myself in the moment going, you need to settle down because you're going to slow this manifestation if there is resistance in my vibration. Um, which there is, so I'm very interested to see how this goes down. Anyway, so the car is going to be sold on Monday. What else has been going on? Oh my gosh, I have manifested a new hairdresser. I haven't been to her yet, so this is my hair before. Um, my sister has been my hairdresser for seven years. She doesn't live where I live, and oh, I have been flying home to get my hair done and like waiting in between, and the last couple of times it hasn't worked out. And I was like, okay, angels, you want me to find a hairdresser? Ah! Because I, I had resistance in my vibration because when I lived in England, I used to have like bright, um, it was orange and then it went to bright pink, like fire, no not pink, red, fire engine red. And a hairdresser in England stuffed it up and I've been tarnished ever since that experience. I know it's been seven years. But my sister is honestly the best hairdresser I've ever had. And it's not working out that when I'm home that she can do it. And I was like, okay, I have to manifest one. So I said to my angels, please help me find a new hairdresser. So I was going through Instagram because I was like, I know the style of somebody by looking at their pictures. There was one that I found, oh, because I need to make sure that they had cruelty-free products, they had paraffin-free, sulfate-free, all this stuff. And they had to be really good at their work. They had to, um, I wasn't necessarily going on price, I was going on experience and passion. And there was one that I was, there was two that I was torn through. One of them I was like, ah, I'm not sure. She had a black and white Instagram. I was like, if you are a colorist, there is no way you would have black and white pictures. So I'm like, maybe you're just really good at cut. I actually need a color as well because my hair needs to be toned. It hasn't been done. My hair hasn't been done since my birthday, which was in April. And I've just been using Fenola. If any of you got blonde hair, it's this purple shampoo from Italy. Um, but it actually overtoned some of my hair. I could try and hide it so you can't really see. It's normally the front bit, so I kind of flip them down so you can't really see. Um, so I'm getting a cut and a color. I'm trying to get, I think I'm gonna get like this much chopped off. But I'm not as nervous. Like usually in the past where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get my hair done. I'm like, I can't do it and I like chicken out. But this time I feel like, you know, I surrendered to the process. I know the universe has lined up the perfect hairdresser. She's her Instagram is on point. Anyway, so I'm so excited to keep you posted about my hair. The other thing is I actually contacted um, this mattress company called Hugo. Um, and I saw all of, you know how like, it's like a massive fad at the moment in Australia for these memory foam mattresses. My brother got one when I went home, I laid on it and I was like, oh my God, this is like the best thing ever. Anyways, we sold our mattress when we moved into this studio because it already came with a mattress. Not really keen about sleeping on an old mattress because if you're into feng shui, a mattress is the foundation to your life. And if you're sleeping on other people's dead energies, it is not a good place and a solid place to build a life with somebody and for yourself. And so we had the mattress here temporarily because I knew I was gonna manifest one. So we sold our mattress, we had money for it and I was like, okay, this is how much I got for that mattress. I know that the universe is either gonna find me a collab with someone so I can get a brand new mattress or the money in which I've sold would be how, what, how much I'll be able to spend for my new mattress. It totally worked out that it was kind of like a two in one. So I've actually um, teamed up with Hugo, um, Hugo Mattresses. They're an Australian company that are based out of Melbourne. And I got their mattress and they discounted it for me in exchange to promote them. And I would actually have to say, I'm not being paid for this, by the way. I still had to pay for my mattress but I will get commissions if I sell any to you guys. Um, it is honestly the best mattress I have ever slept in. And I thought my last mattress was pretty good because I invested a couple of thousand in it. And I was like, oh yeah, but that was like five years ago now. And I kind of wanted to get rid of it because that mattress wasn't a mattress that just Peter and I had slept in. 
and I didn't want the energies of other people to be in our mattress. I know that kind of sounds a bit odd if you're not really into feng shui, but anyways, long story short, I got a new mattress, so check out this little clip because it comes rolled up in a box. So check this out. Anyways, my love, if you would love a coupon code to get a discount on your Hugo mattress in Australia, check the link in my description because you are more than welcome. I can't recommend them enough. And I just want to say that everything I'm promoting uh, across my channel and all my social media is because I genuinely love the product. I get so many companies email me like, Mel, can you promote this and this and this? I was like, thank you so much, but no, thank you. It's not in alignment with my brand and my audience and I wouldn't share anything with you that I wouldn't share without getting paid. Does that make sense? Even though this isn't a paid deal, I was trying to manifest it to be a paid deal, but it isn't, but you kind of know what I mean. Okay, so ah, that's personal kind of stuff. Let's go into business. Oh my gosh, we're at 12 minutes already. So, ah, I don't even know where to start. There's so many things. Okay. 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 Ah, okay. Um, 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 this one is kind of like home slash business. So we actually haven't had internet in our house for a whole year. So every time I make a video, I would literally go to my favorite cafe who's got super fast 5G internet. I would upload videos. That became such a nightmare. And I got to the point where I was like, universe, I need you to find me a good internet deal. Um, anyway, so we found like, oh, it just died. So we got this virgin, this is my internet right here. Um, it got like 140 gigs um, through Virgin Mobile for I think it was like $75. And each month it rolls over if you don't use it. So the crazy thing is when we joined up, they have a billing cycle and if you enter anywhere into the billing cycle, then you pay whatever is left over. Anyway, so we had one week left of the billing cycle. So as I said, we have 140 gig. Because we only had a week left, we only used like 12 gig. The rest of that data then went over to our next month. So there's like 250 or something gig internet that we have that just, oh, it's just amazing. To have internet is like, oh, it's like such a blessing to have it at home because anyways, it just makes life easier. Oh my gosh. If you have been following me on Instagram, you would notice I deleted my whole account and I started re-uploading new pictures. Um, I had one of you, I think it was Zoe, message me and she's like, Mel, what is going on? There's like nine posts on your Instagram. And I was like, it's all right, love. I just deleted it. I'm starting new. I didn't, I haven't had love for Instagram for such a long time and I was trying and trying and trying to find love. And I was like, right, I'm going to set myself a goal. I'm going to up, um, upload every single day for two weeks and see the engagement, how it goes. <laughs> it totally didn't work and I was like I had like how many people I don't even know but I lost people and gained people like no when I started I had a certain amount and then two weeks later I still had the same amount and people had added and left and added and left and I was like what the freak anyway so I used the law of attraction I was like angels please help me I need to rebrand my Instagram that reflects my brand because my Instagram used to be pictures of just food when I was raw nourishment and then I became Melanie Kate Love and then I had my website and my website is like my true brand now. And I was like, my Instagram doesn't reflect my brand. What the heck? Anyway, so Skype my beautiful friend, beautiful friend Joe from the moon underscore journal. And Joe and I have been friends for years actually. I found her on YouTube. Um, when she was first becoming vegan and I was watching her story, I feel like I know her, but I've actually never met her, but we Skype and she helps me out with my business and it is great. Anyway, so Jo helped me. She's like, all right, darling, I think you should do this, 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 and this. I kind of made it up. I have like 81 posts, like 
ready to go because I know visually what it will look like and then I just pick the appropriate caption to go with it. Anyways, I love my Instagram. Check it out right here. Okay, the other thing, I created a new, my first product, not a new product, well it is a new, but it is my first product. It is called the Forgiveness Heals Guide of Visualization. And my intention when I created it was to literally help you find relief and to make peace with that situation that has literally caused you so much pain. And I know how it feels to hold on to things that don't serve you. And I know that it can be such a difficult process. It can be very um, emotional as you're cleansing yourself from your, the inside out. And it is on sale at the moment for $5.55, that's Australian dollars. And that is going to be at that price until January 1st and then it will raise to $9.99. It is a 30 minute and 30 second guided visualization where I literally take you through the steps of like how you forgive this person. If it's somebody else or it actually could be you. And it's such a beautiful track. It's not only a guided visualization, it's a sound healing as well because I've actually paired it with some beautiful Tibetan singing bowls, a sitar, um, Oh my gosh, and there's a little bit of om chanting in there as well. It's very subtle, but it's so beautiful. I'm so proud of it. So if you are, if you're ready, like you're past the angry stage and you're like, ah, when you just want to like, when you hate the world and you're at the stage, because this isn't for everyone. If you're at the stage where you're like, I'm, I don't want to feel like this anymore. And I want to like make peace with my past, make peace with myself because I deserve to vibrate in the frequency of love. And I know where I am right now isn't where my higher self wants me to be. So if that is you and you fit into that category, click the link in my bio, uh, bio, that's for Instagram. Click the link in the description and download my Forgiveness Heals Guide to Visualization. Take advantage of the $5.55 price because it will be increased on January the 1st. I'm so excited for that. Oh, and actually when you buy it, um, I'll send you a link. Um, it goes to like a members only area where it's like password protected. And I actually have included not only the visualization, but two other additions as well. And if you write a review, I'll send you a special gift. So actually when you write a review, I will send you a gift. That's probably better. Oh, there's so many things. Yeah, I've got more clients. I had my first sale, my Black Friday sale. Oh my gosh. Um, and I booked out for the next two weeks, which is amazing. It's just like, I have the best job in the whole world. And I have got to this stage by literally using the law of attraction, like literally feeling the emotions of what I want releasing any blockages and resistance in my vibration and just allowing it to take place, which has been a lot of work, but I've accomplished so much this year. So I just wanted to end on that note and let you know wherever you are on your manifestation, forgiveness journey, self-love journey, whatever you want to call it, you are exactly where you need to be. Everything that has leaded you, leaded you. Everything that has led you to this point in time, it is divinely orchestrated. The universe is literally preparing you for what you have always asked for. Which, if you're going through an uncomfortable phase, that's the universe showing you the contrast of what's working and what's not. So the way I work out if things are good for me is by using my emotions. My emotions are the perfect indicator to let me know if I'm super close to manifesting something or if I am delaying the, the manifestation. So if you're happy, you're getting closer and closer to where you wanna be. If you were depressed and miserable and sad and are in the fear state, you are so far away from where you want to be. So what I recommend that you do, download my self love starter kit because I'm gonna teach you three strategies to get you started on your journey. And it's gonna be amazing. I have a morning mindset audio. I have a five minutes to bliss guided meditation and self love practices workbook all for free. So download that if you haven't already. Get started on your self love journey. And oh, there's just, my throat is like sore because there's just so much to get through. And it's just like, if you want something, visualize it in your head like it's a movie. Feel the emotions associated with it as if you have already got it in your life and it will come. So before I go today, can you let me know if you haven't already voted in the poll, do you want to see my monthly updates continue or would you like to know like more like 
five minute quick um, strategies to help you because I don't know I don't know I'm kind of like 50 50 my intuition says I need to change it up but if you want to see this let me know and I just want to say I I appreciate you guys so much I appreciate you that you have clicked on this video you've even watched to the end we're talking like 22 minutes now so that's a long time out of your day and I just hope that it has inspired you that wherever you are in your journey you can literally manifest anything that you want into your reality if you're having trouble like listening to your intuition and you know you, you don't know which direction to go please book yourself a private reading because I would love to give you the clarity and help you you know kickstart 2018 with like determination and confidence and step into your power because it is a beautiful place to be I'm gonna leave you there have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next episode goodbye guys